What is that? Freaking rat tail. I come to the realization that in this haul, I am not gonna look at all presentable because it is humid outside, it's raining, and my hair is just, it needs to get washed. It needs to be washed. It really does. <laughs> What's up? My name is Kylie. If you guys are new to my channel, if not, welcome back. Today I have another Shein try and haul for you guys. Just tried on all these pieces. There are some that I'm in love with and some that not so much. So let's get right into this. Also, I have a discount code for you guys. So make sure you guys use that. It's going to be just 2KYLL15 and it's also going to be down below. So use that at checkout and it only works on the Canadian site so I'm sorry for all my American viewers but I'm sure you guys can google coupon codes or find another YouTuber that has an American one. I hope that rat tail doesn't pop out again because it's gonna piss me off when I'm editing this video. So I'm gonna start off with my favorite item, well one of my favorites. It is this loungewear set. I posted a picture on Instagram and a lot of people really liked the loungewear set and asked for the link so here it is if I haven't given it already. So it's a nice little mauve, what is this, cable knit? Or waffle, waffle knit. I don't know what the difference of knits are, but very cute. It's super soft. It's not see-through at all. It has a really nice waistband here, and it's also adjustable with the jawstring. It's not too short, so I can wear this out in public and not feel like my butt cheeks are gonna hang out. And it's also just really cute and put together. And then this is what the top looks like. It's inside out because I just tried it on and I swear to you guys, I was living in this for two weeks when I first got this box. I'm really behind with my scheduling because of this whole moving situation I'm going through. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm moving across the country all by myself. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because I'm going to take you guys on the journey with me. Also bought a new car that I'm picking up when I move there. So, whew. It's a lot going on. This is what the top looks like. It's a nice oversized, I guess like long sleeve shirt slash sweater. Same material, same color, super cute. It looks really good tucked into the front, which is what I did in the Instagram picture and I think in the try on, but adorable. What size did I get this? I got it in a small and it fits really well. And I feel like you could also wear it off the shoulder if you wanted to. It's kind of like a wider neck. So comfortable to sleep in, so put together. If you just want to go to the grocery store or go run some errands or even just like a summer photo shoot, I love this. Next is, you guys have probably seen this in my last Shein try and haul if you guys saw it, but this guy. So this I have actually in green. My sister was like, don't get the beige when it's ugly. To be honest, I don't care what anyone thinks. I absolutely love this. I've seen a lot of Instagram influencers and YouTubers wear stuff like this and I really like the chunkiness of this. I got it in a large so I can wear hoodies underneath it. I think I wore this one in a last video as well as the green one but so adorable. I love the beige color. It goes with literally everything. I love neutral colors and green which is why I have it in green as well but it's a really nice quality coat. I really like it. Like I would get this in black and white if they had it. Maybe they do. I'll check after this because I might get it too once I move because I have no room in my suitcases anymore. But I love this. You can wear it in the summer if it's chilly out at night. You can wear it in the fall. You can wear it in the winter. It's just a really nice basic. Next is this really simple cami. This reminds me of something you could get at Urban Outfitters or Brandy Melville. It's a really nice quality material shirt. It fits really nice. The little scoop here isn't too low where you're showing a lot of cleavage, which you guys will see in the try on haul. I basically got this because I really like to wear just basic tank tops and basic shirts with sweatpants or with jeans, jean shorts. I almost said jean skirts, I don't wear skirts. But I actually wore this the other day with just a pair of black shorts and I loved it. Again, you could throw this with that camel jacket on and then some black shorts and you're good to go. Next, I got a pair of biker shorts and I wanted to get some out there biker shorts because I've seen a lot of Instagram influencers wearing like patterned shorts with oversized just plain white or plain black t-shirts. And I really like the look of this. The shirt that I wore in the try on portion of this was only a size medium, but I feel like a large or an extra large either hoodie or basic white t-shirt would look good. These are adorable. They're really soft. They kind of feel like pajama pants. They do feel like pajama pants. I got these in a size small and I have no complaints. I probably wouldn't wear these just by themselves with a crop top. I kind of want my butt to be covered in these because I don't feel like they, I don't know, give me enough confidence to know that not every single color of underwear is going to show through here. But they're 95% polyester and 5% spandex. So if you guys wanted some info on the material, but yeah, cute, 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 cute. I also got another pair of biker shorts and the length and material of these ones, 
I'm not a big fan of. Um, they feel really scratchy. That's what I'm gonna describe it as. And they are a size small, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a small, and they're too big on me, but they're just like a nude color and they have pockets, and I really liked the fact that they had pockets because I can put my phone or something in here when I go on walks or when I go to the gym. But these didn't fit me very well, so I probably will not be wearing these. But if you guys just want a simple pair of nude color biker shorts to wear with a big hoodie, these will be great if they fit you. The next thing I got is actually a set that I really wanted to get for when I go on another vacation, which I don't know when that's gonna be because we're not allowed to travel anywhere. But I saw another YouTuber actually get this in a Shein Chan haul and I was like, okay, I need that. So it's like a nice nude woven pant that has a really nice cinched waistband that is super duper flattering on the body. I got this in a size small. Looks like something you would get from Urban Outfitters. I feel like I relate that to a lot of products because when I feel like it's really good quality, I resort to Urban Outfitters because it's just, I'm sure you guys know, Urban Outfitters has really good quality. It's just ridiculously expensive. So absolutely love these. They have nice pockets here and they're complete length on me and I'm 5'5". The top I really like except for the fact that I have a bigger chest so I'm a 34D for anyone wondering my size and I find that these tie tops aren't really flattering on me because of my boob area. I feel like my boobs are too spaced out. Unless I was to get one of those, what are they, those bras? <laughs> bras that are the sticky cup that can like, you know, push your boobs together. I feel like this would look a lot better on me, so maybe I will get one of those. But this is what the top looks like. It's one of those wrap tops, which you guys will see on. Not see-through, I wasn't wearing a bra with it, so yeah, this is a really nice staple for a vacation or a date or going out. I love this. Next, I actually got this hoodie, and I really like this hoodie for the fact that it is not like extremely heavy. It's a very, very, very light material. So I feel like if you guys are wanting a chunkier hoodie, don't get this. But if you're wanting a light hoodie just to kind of throw on in the summer or to throw on at home and not sweat your butt off, it's great. I feel like because it's a thinner material, it feels more like a long sleeve t-shirt, but it just says Arizona on it and it's black. And I think I got this in a large. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, but it's not super duper oversized where it covers your butt, but it is flowy and nice and I feel comfortable in it so next I got a pair of pants not a huge fan of these pants just because of how loud they are but if you're looking for that look of faux leather pants to wear to kind of dress up an outfit to put on some booties or something like that these are really nice the only thing is they're a size small and they're a little big on me they're tight on the little ankle and calf area but up on the waist they're not as fitting as I'd like them to be but this is what they look like they're just loud pants so I don't know. The next thing is this green shirt. I saw this on the Shein page. I was like, okay, I absolutely need this. Again, I feel like because I have a bigger chest, this doesn't look the best on me because, I don't know, my boobs just don't fit well within these cinchy guys here. And I hate this area of my body right now because I am, like I said, on a weight loss journey. I'm losing weight. I've actually lost 16 pounds in the past three months, so thank God. Oh, good for me. I'm so happy. But this shirt I feel like would look a lot better on people that have smaller boobs or at least smaller boobs than I have. But super cute. I really like this with a pair of black shorts. I love the green color. It makes you look super tan. I feel like these would also look good with jeans. It's a nice top to just throw on and spice up an outfit to look cute for brunch or lunch or a date. And it's actually super duper comfortable and looks really expensive. The last clothing item for this haul that I got is this set. And I actually got this set because... Okay, I don't wear skirts, so you guys are going to see this skirt in the set and be like, what the heck? I got this set because I was like, oh, I can either get one item, like a shirt, or I can get a set that's, I think, two or three dollars more for a shirt and a skirt. So I got this. This is a off-the-shoulder black ribbed shirt, and then it came with this geosymmetrical skirt. I know that it's called that, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm probably just embarrassed myself but this is what the skirt looks like i find the skirt fits me really well i just hate skirts so i probably won't be wearing this i've never been a skirt person i don't think i've ever worn a skirt and gone out and yeah i don't think i ever have so this is what the skirt looks like it's not see-through you guys are gonna see it on this set is in a size small fits me really great maybe i will branch out of my comfort zone and wear this because I actually really like how it fits. The shirt, however, is kind of see-through, so if you're not going to wear a bra with it, you're probably going to see your nippies through it. The only thing is it's very, very stretchy, as you guys can see the material of this. So if you guys are aiming to get a shirt like this, 
I would browse around on Shein and look at the reviews and find a shirt that is more of a thicker material. So I do have two pairs of shoes that I'm absolutely obsessed with, which I'm going to show you guys more of like an up close on camera because I feel like me talking about them here isn't going to show them as well. So let's get into those shoes. All right, it is shoe time. I love the shoes from Shein. I know you guys probably know that from my last hauls, but if you're new, you don't know. These look exactly like Doc Martens. I absolutely love these. I've always wanted a pair of Doc Martens, but didn't want to spend like 200 or 300, however much they are on them. And the white ones, god damn these are gonna look so cute with like an all black outfit i've seen so many instagram people wearing them so i ended up getting these in a size 41 and i feel like a 39 or a 40 would have been fine for me but they were sold out so i decided to just go with it and hopefully they was fit. I am a size 8 to an 8.5 in US sizing and I think these are Euro or UK sizing. I'm not quite sure. It says on the website but again these are just really cute to throw on and kind of spice up an outfit. Look a little more retro. I'm gonna put it on. So these are what they look like. They are pretty big on me so I probably have to wear two socks or give them to someone and get a size down but I like the look of these especially with jeans or shorts my sock looks absolutely treacherous in them but you guys catch my drift this is what they look like and then these <gasps> look at these the white and the black ones are actually from Shein as well these white ones are a little too small for me and then the black ones I absolutely love them so I decided to get kind of like a crocodile pattern in white because I'm moving to Alberta <laughs> these I got in a size euro 41 I don't remember how they fit, so I'm gonna put them on now. Okay, yeah, see? These fit good, ugh. This size 41 fits perfectly, so make sure you guys check the reviews when you're buying shoes on Shein, because some of them are made differently. These, I could not complain about having too much room or having too little room. I am obsessed with these. Like, they are so damn cute. Oh, so if you are a size 8 to an 8.5 in women's, I would get a 41 in these guys. I feel like in cowboy boots, you're supposed to size up anyway, so that kind of makes sense. So that is it for this try on haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these. I feel like I've just been posting eating videos and vlogs, and I don't know what you guys want to see, but I'm on a crunch right now, so... Look out for those moving vlogs. I'm super excited to share those with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys go check the links below for my coupon code for all these items. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.